This is an explanation of how you find Ka for vinegar in the laboratory using the titration. The formula for dissociation of vinegar, which is acetic acid, this is acetic acid, is acetic acid dissociates into acetate plus H plus. For this calculation, you're going to need to construct what's referred to as an ICE table. ICE stands for initial change and equilibrium. These are the initial conditions of each of the species. These are the change of each of the species from product to reactant or reactant to product and this is the equilibrium condition of the species after it's already equalized as a system. So this will be for acetic acid, H, C, H, 3, C, O, O. This will be for acetate, C, H, 3, C, O, O, minus 1. And this will be for the hydrogen ions afterward. In order to find out what the H plus concentration is at equilibrium, we can simply take the pH of our vinegar solution before we start. And we know that pH is equal to negative the log of H plus. And by using square brackets, we know we're specifying the unit of moles per liter. <clears throat> One example of a pH could be 2.41 negative log of H plus. To solve for H plus, I'm going to move the negative over to here. And the inverse of the log, so that this is just H plus, is 10 to the x, like that. So I get 10 to the negative 2.41 equals the concentration of H plus. And that happens to equal 0 0.00. .00 a9, and we said that was molar or moles per liter. This is our concentration of H plus at equilibrium. Now, in the beginning, before it dissociated, it was all acetic acid, which means this was zero, this was zero. This was zero, we had to add 0 0.00389 to get 0 0.00389 and since this equation balances with 1, 1, and 1 for the coefficients, if one mole of H plus is formed, one mole of acetate is formed. So I also must have had to add 0 0.00389 moles per liter, which equals 0 0.00389 molar solution. But that's not the whole answer. We need to find out how much vinegar we had to start off with. And in order to do that, we're going to titrate the solution. Now when we titrate the solution, we start with acetic acid, and add sodium hydroxide, because we have a lot of sodium hydroxide, and we get 
An acid plus a base forms water and a salt, which means the anion that was formed with the H plus and the cation that was connected to the OH minus, and we get sodium acetate. Oops, COO. And we do a standard titration where we look for the equivalence point from the graph of <coughs> pH versus volume. And in this case, the equivalent point was reached at 37. 0.48 milliliters of one molar NaOH. So let's do a geometry problem here. Back to my pen. And this is milliliters, so first I want to change to liters. And once I'm in liters, I would like to change back. I would like to use the concentration of the solution, 1 molar NaOH, to change from milliliters to moles. So and one liter of NaOH, there's one mole of NaOH. And now that I'm in moles, this equation is balanced again with all ones, but it's still balanced. So one mole of NaOH will neutralize one mole of acetic acid and that tells me that I get 0 0.0378 moles C3COO. Now, that is moles, and I want moles per liter. So, simply divide by the original sample size, which was 50 milliliters in this case, and 50 milliliters is equal to 0 0.05 liters. So divided by 0 .5, 0 0.05 liters equals, and this equals 0 0.756 molar acetic acid. So let's go back to our ice table now. And this is how much we started with. Seven, five, six, molar. <coughs> now, if we look at this table, if we added this much to the products, we must have taken away from the reactants. So to determine the amount that we have at equilibrium, we simply take 
0.756 minus 0 0.00389, and we get 0.75211 molar. Next, we can write the expression for Ka using this chemical equation right here. And these are all included in the final expression. So we put the products on top. All the coefficients are 1, which means we won't have any superscripts or powers in our expression. acid on the bottom. So we get square brackets means use moles per liter. So I will 0.0389 divided by 0.75 Two one one, and we get the Ka that is equal to. We get a final answer of two point one, oops, two point oh one times ten to the negative fifth, and that is very close to our accepted value of Ka for acetic acid. So just to Remember what we did. First we used the pH to find this value right here by using our equation for pH. So pH equals negative log H plus. Put that in. I removed the negative over here. Got the value for here. Since that was the value for here, when it originally started, we didn't know how much we had, but it was all reactant. I was not dissociated at all, so we knew these two were both zero. That means this had to be the same value. One mole of this was created, and one mole of this was created, so these two were also the same values. Then we did our titration to figure out what this value was here. We knew that if this much was added, this much had to be taken away here. So we got this value. We wrote our expression for Ka and then we substituted in to get our final expression.